The glass-walled room appears to contain very old books. They're extremely fragile. There must be a connection there. Excuse me, I... I warned you, didn't I? Maybe you'll listen to me next time. Going to need to find a way to get his attention. This is a waste of my time. What? Fine. Very well. I'm coming. Ah, thus Cain went to Amos. Excuse me. My conviction might not be as strong as it used to, but I can still sense your true nature. My stomach is in knots. I'm not wrong, am I? And you aren't crying out for help. Should I? We could just have a conversation. Quietly. Why? I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. To meet a kindred face to face. Who knows? Maybe you'll also learn something from the exchange. I am Father Joseph Manor. You can call me Galeb. Galeb? Very well. That's a much better start to our conversation. Or an exchange of best practices. I consider myself an interpreter of the great book of your existence. And you are a fascinating Just what exactly am I to you? A variety of guinea pig? Have you heard of Raphael Renzi? The name doesn't ring a bell. I'm not surprised, actually. He was an inquisitor who had qualms and thought that vampires could find salvation. He was burned at the pyre. As were many others. But Renzi's ideas were handed down over the centuries. The church may have issued the Florentine decree, but the questions he raised at the time still have gone unanswered. An inquisitor with remorse? Something like that. You might be exactly what I'm looking for here. We could work together, but you're siding with the barbarians. A scholar like you has no place here. You're mistaken about us. Our common interest is to understand you. Then you must be blind. What makes you say that? Don't take me for a fool. I've seen what your colleagues do here. 
One dissects us like animals. The other is testing weapons. Your definition of understanding baffles me. Indeed, my colleagues don't all share my point of view. Admit that we can't just stand by and do nothing. Vampires are a threat. Why should I help you? Just think of all that we could do together. A mutually beneficial partnership would be ideal for a researcher such as yourself. Indeed. An unprecedented alliance. The offer is tempting, I admit. You must understand my hesitation. If you were in my shoes, would you trust yourself? You're not a sheep. That's obvious. But that doesn't mean you'd help your enemies. You made your decision when you chose not to call security. There's no reason to hesitate now. You don't understand the predicament in which I find myself. It seems so simple when you say it. But if evil is among us, it will be difficult to defeat. Like the snake in the Garden of Eden. So, I'll cut off its head. You mean to kill Monsignor Stanford? You're mad. That's not the solution. Stanford is far from innocent. He defiles your beliefs. It's true that we are often in disagreement. Then it's time to take action. You're right. I've been blinded for far too long. I don't know where Stanford is, but you can locate Chiara Favaron in the clinic. She's the only person who has access to them on the main computer. Very well, then. But please, no unnecessary violence. Leave, now, before someone finds us together. Not so fast. Not allow you to live. What? No. I'll take that. Sorry, Joseph. It's every man for himself.